Hello guys, this is Malachi Branch Productions here, and I recently watched a video that uh, Bob the Caesar fan made, uh, if you for some reason I have no idea who he is, for the past couple months, or maybe like the, well yeah, I think it would be safe to say for the past couple months, maybe even a year, he's done, some, he's done a lot of things that have made me really lose respect for him and what really teetered me over the what really broke the camel's back for me was really just ret reflecting on old experiences and old drama that I was in and how Bob basically just refused to help me out of fear of causing drama and yeah it was really really just not fun to think about so I, and well, not not only just not fun to think about, but it, it really made me think that Bob really wasn't my friend to begin with, and that he was just he was more focused on how these uh, situations affect him rather than how they affect other people that are involved in the scrap. So, yeah, I decided to make the video going back, looking back and moving forward, where I just officially cut ties with him, and then, uh. Uh, Andy Kishore actually left a uh, comment on a Bob the Sealer fan's announcement about live streaming. Well, how he was moving his live streams to a separate channel, and he asked why did he delete all the old ones. And he said it was because I was in most of them, and he didn't want to think about me. So, yeah, I basically just well more than just basically, but I viewed that as he's trying to run away from his problems and trying to ignore the situations for as long as he can and. Yeah, that, that, that is definitely what it seemed like was happening at first. So, about 14 hours ago, that's just what I saw when I when I looked for the video. I don't, okay, yes, I did go onto his channel to see if he was uploading any new videos. I'll perfectly admit that. And he made a video saying that, well, he made a video saying that, it, well, the video was called an apology in a serious video to all the people I betrayed. Well, it wasn't exactly that, and uh, it was about 20 minutes long, and he did detail at least some of the stuff, or at least a, a decent chunk of the stuff that caused me to lose respect for him and also some other two people. Uh, the two other people you talked about in the video were uh, Crimson St. Flair and... Vinny, the social media guy, and so, okay, here's what I have to say about that video overall. Okay, this is something that I, I, I will say, I, when it comes to how Bob was talking in the video, I actually do feel he, it, or it at least sounds like he actually does feel bad about the shit that he did, and... Something that I really do applaud him for, and something that did make me gain some more respect for some of my old respect for him back was, unlike every previous other time something like this has happened, he didn't try to pet a pussyfoot around it, or he didn't try to blame something else for the stuff that he did. Like usually when he says he's very wishy-washy about stuff and how he always gives in to other people and. Shit like that. He he didn't pull any of that, and again, he he actually did sound like he was really upset at himself for all this stuff. And yeah, I I, I do applaud Bob for being it uh, for being sincere in the video, or at least to me, it sounded pretty sincere. Although I'm making this video to also state some things. Uh, there is going to be one piece of new information about. Well, it's actually about the uh, previous video I made, feeling that I've become very distant with my future friend. You'll, you'll, I know I referenced in that video that someone basically just turned around on me and just basically threw me away. I'll tell you who actually did that later. Although there is one thing that I would like to correct about the actual video itself, and then I will focus on a specific comment from a certain someone, and, uh, yeah, I will be linking, linking a Discord message, but it's not private, and it was actually in a public server, so, yeah, this is just to, okay, I'll, you'll, I'll explain more in a minute, although, one thing I would like to correct, well, 
I think this is correct, and I don't know if it is, actually is, but Bob mentioned the whole Swedish Russia Chet Nerd and Toon Man situation and how, like, the way that he put it was that I was upset that they were throwing a tantrum and being rude to me in the server. That is not why I was, like, that's not, that wasn't the case. I mean, yeah, they were throwing tantrums in servers and stuff like that, but what really... Okay, so how the uh, re the how the situation that happened where Bob ended up closing his Discord server that was actually over a video I made on a a Bartman Home of the Seventh video where Toon Man said make your cursed video out of Susan Vojisky now. Okay, I think that was a really really dumb video that I made. It was it was completely stupid to make and. Yeah, I, I thought, I thought, the way that I used to view, uh, cursed videos is just another variation of, like, user message videos and stuff like that, and, yeah, I clearly didn't watch the cursed videos, and, okay, what really made me think that the cursed videos were in the fucking Go Animate thing was, it was a video from Andy Ho, he made a fucking cursed video to Bartman, and it was in the Go Animate style, but... Bartman's videos were there. They aren't in the freaking Go Animate stuff. Okay, I need to stop throwing freaking in there. But yeah, basically, I just went on to one of his, Bartman's videos, looked for a Toon Man comment, and just yeah, it was a really stupid thing to do. And again, I just I think it's really again. I I, I okay. I'm trying not to repeat myself constantly, but. What wasn't warranted, though, was what Toon Man did. He, he basically, like, here's how the, well, unfortunately, I don't have the screenshots, although I'm sure some people could probably confirm it. So, what Toon Man did in response to that video was leak a bunch of DMs or link a bunch of Discord messages trying to claim that I'm fucking transphobic and even ableist and... Yeah, it's really, like, it's really questionable. Well, okay... Here's something I like to say about the Toon Man. He will go to really great lengths, not just to be petty, but to try to fucking ruin anyone that tries to criticize him in any any capacity. Yes, yeah, some of the, yeah, I will admit the things that I made that fucking video on the second one. Yes, those criticisms weren't very valid. I'll say that, but that doesn't warrant trying to ruin someone who tried to criticize size you or it like okay i'm trying to okay i'm sorry for stuttering it's just hard to not stutter when i'm fucking ain't well okay i don't even know how to say it I, i'm angry but yeah it's just and he also tried to claim and he was trying to say that he was officially done making youtube videos and thanked me for doing that and he even threatened to jump off a cliff and yeah, basically, he was, well, more than just basically, he was literally threatening suicide over a video criticizing him, and, again, yes, the criticism itself wasn't valid, but that doesn't excuse using suicide to make people change their mind, or using suicide to make people submit to you, so, yeah, I just wanted to correct that little, those little aspects about Bob, and, and about Bob's video, uh, the rest of the video was mostly pretty clean and it did again it did feel like it came from a place of of hurting someone else or okay i'm trying to figure out how to put this again sorry malachi doesn't exactly put everything the best but it was really it did really feel like he was sincere in the video although there were some comments uh you could take a guess who one of the people that that it was. Uh, the Toon Man left a comment saying, I will admit that me and Swedish Retro Tet Nerd were in the wrong as well as, and I am sorry for the misunderstanding and taking things the wrong way. Apology accepted and I forgive you. Now he's directing this apology at freaking, at freaking Bob, although there is still a bunch of shit that Toon, like here's what I mean about the Toon Man. Now some people might be thinking, oh, well, clearly you must have changed at some point, or something along the lines of that, but, nope, here is a Discord message that was sent to me, I think, a couple days ago, and this was incredibly freaking recent. Toon Man added Savage Gamer in a server and said, hey, at Savage Gamer, why are you still friends with Malachi? He made a video on me because I commented on Bartman Homer the Seventh videos, and you and him both liked Bartman Homer. Well, at the time, I didn't like Bartman Homer, and 
I didn't start liking Bartman Homer until, like, very recently. Well, not just very recently, but a couple months ago. So, yeah, it's kind of, kind of a bit outdated information, but... Yeah, and he also made this claim that I banned at Swedish Retro Chat Nerd from his server for no reason without any warnings, so... I think he's talking about the my, my old server that I made, not the rebooted server of Patrick's, but the perpetuating server of Patrick's, like the... Okay, that was back when I used to go by the... Let's just say I had an abbreviation of T-Pop. Yes, I did ban Swedish Retro Chat Nerd, although it was because of... Things that were happening in uh, Brian Buddy 2 ACP server, where he said that Dan Sobel, again, I'm bringing up some old shit, but it's just to provide context. He said that Dan Sobel deserved to be abused by his brother, and me and Flora did not take very kindly to that, and I essentially just straight up cut ties with him after that. And yes, I did ban him, although, I, although again, I think we should keep in mind that... I was telling him what what he was doing was wrong and that I was losing respect for him straight up, although he always kept trying to interpret it as just me hating him because of ADHD and stuff like that. Okay, the stuff the stuff involving him is all with the whole ADHD, it's just he has stopped using it, although again I think it's really hard to forgive the people that tried to legit get you banned from servers, but yeah, again, yes, I didn't give any warnings, although it was, okay, I'm trying to, there are, let's just say there are certain things that you do where you don't get any warnings, and it's basically an insta-ban, and yeah, suggesting that people get to, deserve to be abused because of how they behave online is one of those things. And he says, I suggest that Malachi make an apology video for that video he made on me, which is now deleted. This is not the first time that the Toon Man has harassed people that I'm close with for extra chances, because, again, he has constantly, constantly tried to get other people to freaking, well, the uh, by other people, I mean by Bob the Seether fan and Savage Gamer, he has constantly harassed these people to give, to make me give Toon Man another chance, and no matter how many times I say no... No matter how many times I keep, I constantly say and also remind, well, I don't directly say this to him, but no matter how many times I mention that, why should I apologize to the person that tried to fucking ruin me and it falsely accused me of being transphobic and ableist, which I am not, why should I forgive this person? But Toon Man, even, even like, again, he's over the age of 18, but he's a, he's mentally a fucking toddler, so... Of course he can't take fucking no for an answer, and, yeah, I, like, it really, again, quite, and, again, it's just, it, it's just, how, how can you be this fucking petty, and how can you be this much of a fucking baby that you seriously keep fucking insisting that someone who constantly keeps telling you that you don't deserve an apology, you just think... Constantly harassing his friends will get you an apology. Will get you an apology eventually. Although, sp sp spoiler alert and newsflash, it doesn't. But yeah, that's all I like to say revolving around the Toon Man. And well, yeah, that's all I have to say regarding him. Although there is something I would like to say about Vinny, the social media guy. So he said, "Yeah, I did a lot of run from to from August, November, and January." Now, obviously, he's not going to exactly name anything, and you know that person who I said just did a fucking two-faced fucking flip and basically, well, more than just basically, but threw me out and then said my apology wasn't very genuine to him, even though he accepted it a couple months ago, and he said that we both treated each other like shit, and you know who did that? It was Vinny the social media guy. Yeah, yeah he, he, he did actually freaking do that, and, yeah, I, th I think what he means by from August and November, he means the whole freaking little first feud that we had with each other, it was mainly me getting freaking overly angry at him for banning me from a server, and there was the other one where I cut ties with him for saying he wanted to be friends with a certain, certain someone who, him, I will not name for, I think, kind of obvious reasons, but... 
Yeah, then I did eventually realize that this was fucking stupid. And apologized to him about four months ago, and... Here's the thing. At the time, he accepted it, and he seemed like he found it genuine, but... Then, literally four months later, without fucking warning, he's like... Yeah, I didn't think your apology was very genuine at all, and it's just... Again, like, listen, I, I really liked Vinny. That's that's the reason why I got hurt so much in the freaking video, because, listen, I liked Vinny at the time, and, yeah, like, I, I didn't know he was really even freaking liked this, and, again, it just felt like, it, it just felt like he was throwing away a friendship over nothing. Well, okay, maybe it technically wasn't over nothing, but he didn't really even give any solid proof to the reasons that he gave for... Saying that he just didn't want to be friends with me. Now, if he if he had said something like, Hey, uh, I don't really feel like we're that close anymore. I don't want to be friends with you anymore. Then, yeah, you know, it would have felt perfectly fine. But the way he did it, it just, again, felt like he just fucking flipped out of nowhere. And just, okay, I'm sorry for stuttering a whole lot. So, yeah, basically, bottom line is, Bob the Seether fan... I know this may sound weird given my past and how I'm really fucking stingy. Okay, I don't know if the term is stingy, but... A problem that I used to have a lot that I'm trying to fix now is... I have a very hard time forgiving people. And, I mean, I think I have good reasons to, although... There are some times where even if it does feel like the person apologizing is genuinely sorry for what they did... I've had so many freaking people give me half-assed apologies that it that it just feels like if anyone apologizes to me, I'll j I just instantly won't forgive them. But the one Bob gave, if you are being serious and if you are serious about actually trying to help me with my issues and actually, you know, being a decent friend. I'm going to give you another chance, and I... Well, I don't forgive you for the stuff that you did back then. Well, okay, at least not for now, so... Yeah, like, if... If you are serious, and in the following months you actually do try to change yourself... Then I will forgive you for that stuff, but for now... You're going to have to work a little bit, but... Again, for the genuine apology, I do, it's, I do accept your... I do accept your apology. Uh, Tune Man, though, <laughs> you can go fuck off. And Vinny, basically the same thing. Anyways, I hope you guys... Uh, well, actually, I, I don't want to say I hope you guys enjoyed this, but... See you guys in the next video, is what I would like to say.